So this is Alpha C Young solution of chapter five. Here we are mainly uh, dealing with uh, problems uh, where input output structures have been given. Okay, so we'll be solving all the exercises in uh, of chapter five, so which is called the linear models and matrix algebra. Okay, so this is on the uh, first two are uh, given on the exercises. So we'll concentrate on the direct questions. Uh, seven in the industry, it is known as the industry it uses ten cents of its own product, sixty cents commodity uh, to its dollars worth commodity one, and industry two uses its own product, fifty cents of commodity one, and producing the dollars worth of the commodity two. So the open uh, and open sector demands are one thousand billion. Dollar for commodity one and two thousand billion dollars for commodity two. Write the input output matrix. So let it be A equal to zero point one zero ten cents. Nothing nothing in the dead in this part. So this is this. Next, in order to go for it, I minus A we have to do. And this is one. Okay. So now the final matrix will look like minus 0 0.61 minus 0 0.5 and the two input sizes x1 x2 equal to 1000 and 2000. Next, check whether the data in the problem satisfy the Hawking Simon condition or not. Okay, so the principal minors we can take. For Hawking Simon, beta 1 hand is 0 0.90, this is positive, beta 1 uh, so expect to this i minus a mod we also calculate this is also 0 0.60, so this is also positive. So Hawking Simon HS condition is satisfied. Next, find the solution of the output levels with respect to grammar rule. So all you have to solve with respect to grammar rule. So I'm just showing you uh, the basic stuff here. So till now we have 0 0.9 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.6 1 x1 x2. thousand and two thousand so with respect to x1 the uh, solution will be so you replace this thing with this thing and divide it by this so thousand two thousand minus point five one whole divided by and nine minus point five minus point six and one okay similarly x2 also the second column will be only be replaced first column will remain the same thousand and two thousand and this is point nine minus point six minus point five and one okay so once you solve these two matrices so this will give you uh, two thousand by zero point six so three 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 one by three and x two will be two four zero zero by point six so four thousand that's the solution here next we move forward to question number uh, four So it's input output given, final demand factors are given. Explain the economic meaning of the factors 0 0.33. So 0 0.33, 0 and 200, these three things. So 0.33, so 33% of commodity 2 is needed as input for producing one dollar of commodity one that's it zero means in industry three industry three does not use its own input because it's a three cross three position 200 means the open sector demand the open sector demand is 200 for commodity 2. So for commodity 2, this is the demand. So first part done. Explain the economic meanings of the third column sum. 
थार्ड कलम साम थार्ड कलम साम इज जिरो पॉइंट फोर सिक्स सो वाट इज द मिनिंग अफ दैट सो दिस मीन्स दैट फोर्टी सिक्स पार्सेंट अफ द नन प्राइमरि इनपुट्स आर यूज इन द प्रोडक्शन वी आर कमिंग फ्रम द इंडस्ट्री थ्री नेक्स्ट एक्सप्लेन द इकोनॉमिक मिनिंग अफ द थार्ड रो साम थार्ड रो साम ओके पॉइंट फोर सेवेन सॉरी पॉइंट ये मीनिंग द फोर्टी सेवेन परसेंट ऑफ द नॉन प्राइमरी इनपुट्स सो दिस इज डन सॉरी सो रो सम हैज नो इकोनॉमिक मीनिंग हियर इज ओनली कॉलम सम इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो सी पार्ट इज डन and uh, next is they have asked us to write the specific input output matrix equation for this model so what is the specific input output equation so this is like 0.95 so i a minus i format so i'm subtracting already and writing it 0.34 just like the previous one 0.33 0.19 Zero point nine zero minus point three eight minus uh, sorry one minus one two, and this is x one, x two, and x three, and this is one eight hundred, two hundred, and nine hundred. Okay. Next question is E. Check whether the data given in the problem follows the Sawkins Simon condition. Okay. So this is point nine five positive B two. You take into this into consideration. So this value is point seven seven two five. This is positive. B three means the entire part. So I minus A, and uh, this is point six two two seven. I've already calculated that, so I'm just putting the value. So the Hawkins-Simon condition is satisfied. Okay, so next question number five. Given a four cross four. Matrix given a four cross four matrix B of I J. Write down all the principal minus. Okay, so let's write it in this way. All the first uh, order. So principal minus comes in first order. So B one one, B one two two three three four four. Second order. So B one one, one two, two one, two two, three one. Sorry, two. Uh, then uh, two 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 three and uh, B three two three three. This is the first. Another one will be B one one, B one three, B three one, B three three, B uh, two 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 four, and lastly four two four four. There is another one will be there. So B one 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 four four one, then four four, then three 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 four, and the last one will be four three four. Okay. So with respect to third order, now also we can proceed. So B one one B one two B one three. This is easy, you know. Two one two 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 three and three one three two three three. There can be some other combinations as well. Okay, next is fourth order. So same as the structure itself. As it's a four and so same as B. So first question done. Write down all the leading principal minors. So uh, the first three leading principal minors are same as the given structure. So here are the middle in principal minors. Okay. Show that by itself, without any other restrictions of a matrix, the Hawkins-Simon condition already guarantees the existence of a unique solution vector x throughout the non-necessarily, though uh, not necessarily non-negative. So the last part of the Hawkins-Simon condition, if it is nth order is also positive, is equivalent to B of this thing. Okay, so in the mains matrix. So since B is a non-negative matrix, non-negative or non-singular, so B is non-singular, and B x equal to D has a unique solution. 
and x star equal to b inverse d not necessarily negative okay so this condition is guaranteed here as well that's the end of this chapter